Peace of the Lord be with you, and good evening. This is our devotion for Monday, April 17th, and um, beginning this out in the early evening, so we will follow that order on page 297 in the hymnal. And uh, our, our gospel lesson for this week is what's often called the road to Emmaus, where uh, Jesus has been raised, and the disciples are, are talking about that, and, um, and Jesus comes and, and, and meets with them, and... Um, and teaches them. So we will uh, look at that. It's Luke 24 verses 13 to 35. Again, that's Luke 24 verses 13 to 25 or 35. So we'll go ahead and get started. Page 297 in the hymnal. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ. We have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. All right. Luke 24. That very day, two of them were going to a village named Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and they were talking with each other about all these things that had happened. And while they were talking and discussing together, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What is this conversation that you are holding with each other as you walk? And they stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, named Cleopas, answered him, or Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? And he said to them, What things? And they said to him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, a man who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and rulers delivered him up to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things happened. Moreover, some women of our company amazed us. They were at the tomb early in the morning, and when they did not find his body, they came back saying that they had even seen a vision of angels, to, angels who said that he was alive. Some of these who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but him they did not see. And he said to them, O foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken, was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. So they drew near to the village to which they were going, and he acted as if he were going farther. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is now far spent. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at table with them, he took the bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them. And their eyes were opened, and he recognized them, and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, Did not our hearts burn within us while he talked to us on the road, while he opened to us the scriptures? And they rose that same hour and returned to Jerusalem. And they found the eleven and those who were with, him, with them gathered together, saying, The Lord has risen indeed and has appeared to Simon. Uh, then they told what had happened on the road and how he was known to them in the breaking of the bread. Let us pray. Blessed Lord Jesus Christ, um, you are made known to us in the scriptures and in the breaking of the bread. And we give you thanks for um, your revelation to us that you are the one who was prophesied beforehand in the scriptures, that you were the one who, uh, of whom it was prophesied that you would be crucified and um, and be raised for our salvation. And as we have the joy of that salvation and the joy uh, promised to us in your resurrection, we pray that you would bless us with your presence, that you would comfort us in that presence, and that we would know you um, as you promised to be with us, that as you uh, are with us in your word, you would comfort us, and as you come to us in your body and blood, that you would bring us the peace and the assurance that, uh, that, you, have, that you have made us your own, and, and promised us eternal salvation, even as you now live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Um, so this is this is a, a long passage. So I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Uh, there, there are a couple of, of points I did want to touch on. Uh, verse 16, their eyes were kept from recognizing him. So here the, the, these disciples of Jesus are, and um, they're... Um, they're 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 with Jesus and they don't realize it, and um, 
they, they don't realize it because their eyes are kept from, from recognizing him. So uh, this, this, uh, this way in which Jesus reveals himself to us and opens his eyes. And of course, what we see is that they do recognize him eventually. So we'll get to that here in a minute. Next, I'd like to look at, at what Jesus does. And he, he's talking with them. And, um, and, and there's this whole, this whole concern with, um, you know, with all the stuff that's gone on with Jesus. And, and they don't obviously don't know they're talking to him. And, and, he, and he convicts them. He says, Oh, foolish ones of, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Right? So this is the scriptures, of course, at this point are the Old Testament. There is no New Testament. And so he sits down with them with the Old Testament. He says, Look, Here's where Moses talks about the Christ. Here's where Moses talks about the Christ. Here's where Moses talks about the Christ. Here's where the, 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 the prophets show what the Christ is going to be. Here is, you know, things like, um, like, like Moses interceding on behalf of the Israelites. Things like Joseph uh, being thrown in the pit and pulled out. Joseph being thrown into prison and pulled out. You know, this, this death and resurrection theme there. And, and things like, like it, in Job, how, how everything is restored to him double except for his... Um, except for his children, showing that the, the children will be raised, and all these things, you know, show that this is this is what will happen to the Christ. And then, of course, you have the, the things uh, in the Psalms and, and, and the Scriptures themselves, that there will be a prophet like Moses that will come. Uh, the things that Peter preaches about in Acts chapter 2, you see you see Peter bringing about, and we're going to talk about that here here uh, again in a second, Acts chapter 2, you know, but the, the uh, because that's the, the uh, part of that is the, the, the reading for, for tomorrow as well but you know all these things where, where he interprets for them that this old testament is about jesus right this is about who who christ is and um yeah that th this is this is promised beforehand and and jesus is that th th as i've heard it said the ink of the pages of the old testament is written in the blood of christ you know that this he shows that to them there. So this this beautiful beautiful revelation there, and that this they they should have known. So we should we know? And it's like in, in the parable of of Lazarus and um, and, and not not that not the, the Lazarus that's raised per se, but the, the Lazarus that that sits outside of the house of the rich man and he dies. And and the, and the rich man says, um, "Go tell my brothers." And they say, "If he, they don't believe the scriptures." And then we'll believe it if one is raised from the dead, right? The scriptures give us the insight to opening our eyes. But then, uh, as he's t doing this, uh, they go along further. And, and uh, verse 29, they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, for it is evening, and toward evening the day is now far spent. And we're going we're gonna to pray that um, here in a minute. That's, it's wonderful when this lines up with this, the, this, uh, this e e early evening prayer, because that's the, you know, the, the day is almost over and, and the night is at hand. But then... Um, he, so he went in to stay with them, and when he was at table with them, he took the bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them, and their eyes were open, and they recognized him, and he vanished from their sight. Right? This this revelation of Jesus and the breaking of the bread, of course. Now we don't we don't hear of the cup, so we don't know that this is the Lord's Supper, um, but it gives us insight into that meal that we have with the Lord, where He is made known to us in the breaking of the bread in the Lord's Supper. Right there, He is with us in His body and blood, uh, there with us for the forgiveness of sins that we would. That he, that he would be present with us as he was present with his disciples and now uh, promises that we that we will be in his, his nearer presence, as we say, uh, when our life is ended and uh, as we have that joy in his resurrection. Amen. So, uh, we continue with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for the evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our constant companion on the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope among us, that we may recognize you as you are revealed in the scriptures and in the breaking of the bread. Grant this for your name's sake. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.